compassion, a pure sort of spirit. Part of Prairie Island's soul roams out in the pasture. That's our buffalo pasture, our buffalo herd, our buffalo project. It's almost like they're our spiritual relative. We have a connection with them. We're the Buffalo people. Tribal Council President Shelley Buck shares special love of these majestic animals. They're just gorgeous creatures. I can't even explain how much they mean to us. I mean, my, my Dakota name is Manny Buffalo, Pate Wichota. So Buffalo means a lot to me and my family. And to the rest of this community, exactly why the Prairie Island people started the Buffalo Project. It's named after my dad, Edwin Buck Jr., Buffalo Project, so it makes me very proud with that. But it's something that started 20 plus years ago. We sent some uh, money out to our brothers and sisters out in the West. In return, they sent us a buffalo. A single six-year-old bison bull named Shooting Star. You know, it was for us to have a feast, and the elders decided they didn't want to feast on them. They wanted to start a herd. Our elder relatives knew that those, those pete oyate, tatanko oyate, they were going to bring good things. So it, it, it brought our people together. Those tribal members got what they wished for. 180 healthy bison now thrive near Red Wing, Minnesota. A herd that inspires curiosity. Exactly why Paul Dressen keeps busy. By the way, a buffalo is, a, is, a, is not the correct name. It's American bison, or we say Tatanka, which is the Dakota word. Paul runs the Buffalo Project's education arm. I'd like to welcome all of you here today on behalf of our tribal elders, our tribal veterans, and our tribal council. How many Tatanka were in North America prior to European contact? About 60 million. The turn of the century, how many bison, Tatanka, were left in North America? How many? 5,000. 5,000 out of 60 million. Most of those animals slaughtered for meat or erased by the U.S. Army, a means they thought that could control Native Americans. Okay, well, let's see if we can all get out in one truck. Prairie Island promised to bring back bison and protect this piece of Metawakton Sioux culture. Chante wash day, hohiani wash day, so that means good morning to each of you with a good heart. Guests get to ride right into the middle of the herd. A moment worthy of a selfie. So what you're looking at is our combined herd now of bulls, cows, and calves. They will eat up to 3% of their body weight. So a big bull that weighs 2,000 pounds will have to eat 60 pounds of dry matter or hay or prairie grass a day to sustain itself. But the creator made their tail so short that they really can't use it to keep the bugs and the insects off. So what they're doing is they're dusting themselves. Healthy animals, but not just by luck. They're all getting physicals next week. Yep, medical day, a crazy few hours in the pasture. All right, let's lock them up. Each animal gets checkups and shots. Okay, so this will be O2. Although the bison seem not so happy about the doctor's visit. Tough, dirty work. Worth every second to ensure this herd stays healthy and speaks of North American history. That spiritual connection is very important between us as Dakota people and, and the Buffalo and also other First Nations people. So this is a robe which was used as blankets, clothing. The next thing we could use another product from the hide is raw hide. And then of course we have leather, which would be the third product from the hide. Kids love this. Colorful hand-tied ribbons might best represent the Prairie Island people's passion for these forever grand animals. They're prayer ties. They give thanks, give prayers, just a, another form of respect. We want to educate people about who we are. 
where we come from, things that are important to us. This is one way that we can teach people about the buffalo to respect them, care for them, and to understand how important they are.